The Hebrew words for welcome are bruchim haba'im, which literally translated means blessed are those who come here. And so Shelby and Alex, we say the traditional blessing to you. Bruchim haba'im b'shem Adonai, blessed are you who come here in God's name to be joined in marriage. I can't remember what it's like Thank you to everyone um, who was able to be here today. I know it's been tough. <laughs> I've been crying all day. <laughs> I can't stop once I start. <laughs> Indeed, we bless everyone who is here with us in person or seeing the video later on. Brachim Habaim, bless you all for that. When I'm with you, there's no reason for you know, we wish we had everyone here. We wish we had the people who couldn't be here, here, you know. But we're so happy everyone else is here, and we are so, um, so lucky. We're very, very lucky. Very. We have each other, we have all of you guys, and so we just wanted to say thank you. It was in the summer of 2015 when you two were introduced. You had talked for a couple of weeks before finally meeting for lunch at the Brazen Fox in White Plains. Shelby remembers Alex's kind smile and that he wore his signature hat and his Harpoon Brewery t-shirt. Maybe it wasn't a t-shirt. It, it was, was a t-shirt. It was. Oh. <laughs> Alex remembers Shelby as being beautiful, not just her looks, but in the kindness of her soul. And she didn't care that he wore his hat, even though everyone he knew told him not to do it. Shelby says she loves Alex's sense of humor, how he makes her laugh every day. Alex says Shelby is the kindest person he has ever met. He loves her beauty, he loves her laugh, he says it always puts a smile on his face. By New Year's Day, when Alex was considering his goals for 2016, he realized that making Shelby happy topped his list. He knew he had found his person. There is no doubt in his mind that he is the luckiest man ever to be marrying his best friend, his person, his home, and his love. He said it is, love is a word in which its definition can change 100 times across a person's life. It had for me until I fell in love with you. No love, love was no longer a word, it became a person. <laughs> Shelby, you are my definition of love. It is beautiful, it is unique, it is perfect. <laughs> oh, I just love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hysterically crying, I told you. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop crying now. <laughs> Alex is one of the most genuine, nice, hardworking, most disciplined, determined people I know. And you, you motivate me every single day to be a better person. Now, Shelby, my daughter, my daughter on the other hand, I would pull her more. She's been brought up to express herself. <laughs> I thought about all this and said how emotional it's gonna be for everybody and when I see Shelby in her dress and everything. And so I waited down at the bottom of the stairs and for me, it, it just took me back to when she was a little girl. The uh, Webster Dictionary defines the word awesome as the very best, and I think it describes Shelby perfectly. Shelby has been the best sister ever, and she's been there through, for me through the times that I needed people. I love you, Shelby. All jokes aside. <laughs> She's awesome at taking care of her students. She's an awesome cook. She's awesome at putting everyone first. Because my daughter puts everybody first. We're working on that. We're, we're, we're working on that. When she told me, I met somebody and we're 
really happy and I'm going to move in with him. And they had only been dating for about five months and I nearly had a heart attack driving the car I had to pull over. <laughs> and I said, I don't know, Shelby, about this one, but if you know Shelby, you know she knows what she wants and when she decides, she doesn't let it go. Because this celebration of love and commitment is such a joyous occasion, Shelby and Alex are about to share in a cup of wine. <laughs> and as a added blessing, Shelby and Alex's fathers will take Shelby's grandfather Jesse's tally and they will place it around Shelby and Alex's shoulders. Alex, please place the ring on Shelby's right index finger, believed in antiquity to link directly to the heart. And Shelby, please bend your finger to signify acceptance of the ring. <laughs> Alex, you take Shelby to be your wife, promising to cherish and protect her in sickness and in health, to love and honor her from this day forward. If so, you may answer, I do. I do. Shelby and Alex, by the authority vested in me by the state of Connecticut, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Mazel tov! Bravo! Babo and boys for life. Babo and boys for life. Babo and boys for life. Cheers!